This controversy over women in the military, diversity in the military, is no controversy at all. All you have to do is, what was that phrase? I've been told this phrase about a thousand times in the last year. What was that phrase? It starts with an F. Mm, it's almost here. Follow the science. All I have to do is follow the science, and I'll figure out who the frontline combat troops should be and who they shouldn't be. This is about life and death. Probably not today, Lord willing, not tomorrow, but on a long enough timeline, the strength of your military is very much about life and death. What do we get? We get speeches from Joe Biden about making the military uniforms more pregnancy friendly. We have specialized armor now to more suit the female body, which I guess you can make an argument for that, but why is this something, why is this something we're bragging about? The United States of America's president brags about these things because half this country is so dedicated now to cultural Marxism, that's all they see. That's how they see the world now. New ways they can virtue signal to this gender or this race or this religion. Look what we're doing here. It doesn't even occur to them now to step up to the microphone and tell America's enemies, look how deadly our military is. Don't even try. And so the great Tucker Carlson, I know you've seen me on his show a bunch. He went on, he had a couple things to say. So we've got new hairstyles and maternity flight suits. Pregnant women are gonna fight our wars. It's a mockery of the US military. While China's military becomes more masculine as it's assembled the world's largest navy, our military needs to become, as Joe Biden says, more feminine, whatever feminine means anymore, since men and women no longer exist. The bottom line is, it's out of control and the Pentagon's going along with this. Again, this is a mockery of the US military and its core mission, which is winning wars. Of course, all that's a fact. All that is a fact. And remember that bad guys coming to your shores? No, I don't think there's a Chinese fleet on the high seas as we speak, sailing its way towards California for a surprise attack on Los Angeles. Nor do I think they'd stay if I actually got to Los Angeles, but that's another story entirely. But one day that fleet is coming. One day it is. They're having these idiotic cultural Marxist social games now at the expense of lives in the future. This stuff gets people killed. And not to get too graphic about it, but I have to say this. You know, combat deaths are ugly, right? I mean, you all get that. You've seen enough movies. Maybe you've personally been in combat yourself. You've seen what mangled bodies look like on the ground. It's hard enough when you see your brave boys over there. And we've already lost women in combat. It's terrible, and they're heroes just like everybody else. You understand how much more horrible that is if it's a bunch of our women? What that does to the psyche of a nation? Think. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me. Thanks.